Hey yo, this the remix. Ella May, Quavo, Cito, Chun Li. Hey yo, let me got something that um I want to talk about for a while. I'm wearing this because I'm going to go work out. So yeah, it's a sports bra. <laughs> It's not a bra, but it looks like a bra, so maybe I should put my shirt on because YouTube might like me. My other video that I posted got the comment taken off. I mean, yeah, the comment taken off because I guess YouTube was like, sign. Oh, y'all want to see my henna? Let's see my henna. But yeah, it's hot. But anyways, so I guess. I'll talk about this topic. Um, so my upload schedule is in fact once every two weeks because I'm in school and I work so that gives me time. But this week is a special, well next week is a special week. There's um, something big that I'm doing so I'm going to post like um, four videos this week. I'm trying to work on my quality and not content because my channel I've done different things on my channel but now I want it to be like a lifestyle channel and not like but I still want to do dance videos like I did and vlogs and this and that but I want the quality to be better and the edits to be better and just the creativity in general. I started OEX in like two years ago. My uncle was in a coma. I started OEX, yeah. My uncle was in a coma like December of 2017. Um. He um, passed away, unfortunately. While well, I made a YouTube channel to document everything. I made a YouTube channel to document everything. Um, it was kind of a healing process for me. Creating videos, talking about my feelings. It's healing for me. And I don't, not, I don't want my channel just to be like an outlet for me. I realize now I don't know who that is. They literally just coming down the street and they just turned around. I want my channel to be healing. I want my channel to be healing for everyone that watches the videos. So, I wanted to talk about things that y'all can relate to. Um, put out content that inspires you guys. Um, lift you up. But anyway, um, I never got what I said. I just started eating. I got a shrimp chimichanga and rice and beans. <clears throat> I know what I tried to buy. I drank all that already, so I'm drinking water. Um, this is really good lighting. But, I have a problem with, like, looking over there. I'm gonna look the I'm gonna look at the camera. So basically um I wanna talk about I wanna talk about my faith. Um and, and how just my body and so I grew up in a Christian home. Well, I grew up in, well, I can't even say that. Well, I grew up in many different places. Because when I was little, um, I 
all up in this car. It's disgusting. When I was little, um, when I was little, well not little, but like, um, I was already throwing extra pieces of, I don't like extra bread, so, I mean, the same kind of bread I do, but because here's all my extra bread. I feel it for the birds. But when I was like in middle school, early high school, me and my mom were homeless. Cause we had moved. Cause my mom is from Indianapolis. Like, so we moved away from where I used to live. And basically, she thought when we got up there, our relatives would help us. Uh, we're gonna take some of them did, but the person that we were gonna stay with, where we're supposed to stay with, told him, kind of switched up on us, and it wasn't because of them. It was it's it's a complicated situation. It was a complicated situation, and so basically. Um, I grew up in different places, different houses, but I still, growing up, it wasn't like pieces and cream, like, I never had the kind of household where it's like, you you know, when it's dinner time, everybody goes downstairs and y'all sit at the table and eat together. I mean, I had that a couple of times. Sometimes at my friend's houses. Cause my friends would let me and my mom stay there sometimes. Um, but yeah, but I would always keep God first and have the faith. I would have faith that he would provide for us, provide for me and my mom. Um, and I feel like God is a, is a major part of my life because I was, when I was in middle school, the reason we moved is because I had got bullied. I got bullied. At, why I keep spitting? Accidentally on fire. When I was just in middle school, I got bullied in middle school um because i was a nerd and a geek and so when i got bullied i would start wearing black hoodie i remember i wear a black hoodie and black sweatpants every day like different you know but like not the same but like i would wear the black hoodie like wash it and wear that every day but like the sweatpants i would alternate sweatpants you know I would, so that's why we moved that was like in middle school ish so that's why we moved. My mom moved me, moved schools and moved towns because she was like, maybe you just need a different environment. We moved to the city. Um, and I have some of the best years of my life were in the city. It really was. Um, because like in the city, you just have a more open perspective and people don't really like look and nitpick and stuff like they do in small towns. So anyway, God had to be a major part of my life because um, I clung to him for so much in my life that I've been through. Um, I feel like going to therapy, um, praying, and all that is important. Like, yeah, going to therapy, going to counseling is really important. I'm going, I go, like, going to therapy and counseling is so important for your mental health. Just to let things off your mind. Like, everyone lets their frustration and anger and sadness out some way. Some people take drugs. Some people are violent with people. Usually, a lot of people have a negative method for taking out their frustrations but i ask you to please choose positive methods there are many positive methods uh counseling and therapy is not just for caucasian people 
I mean, because in the black community, it's like a stereotype that counseling and therapy isn't okay. Like we black people don't need that. And if somebody is suicidal or depressed, or depressed, we think they just, we just people in the black community be like, go to church. I'm a Christian and I need the therapy and counseling because it's like, and, and I feel like then I was going to church, not for me, cause, but it was because, you know, everybody else went, it was something. But when I found God for myself, I feel like he really healed me from like a lot of things because I can't describe it to you, but something more, really important to me in my life is K-Love. K-Love is like a radio station. It's a Christian radio station. I would listen to that every day. I still listen to Christian music in my car. Yes, I love to listen to Mulatto and Cash Doll and Lil Baby and all of them. But I like listen to Christian music. I, I do it at least once a day because it calms me down. I can't describe it to you, but it's like... I don't know it just speaks to your soul i can't speak I, I can't describe it really but yeah and that helped me and also um going to counseling helped me and i feel like i feel like i couldn't be here right now there's so many things in life i feel like just satan with me dead because there are so many things that I've been through in my life. Like, I can't believe my hair is straight. I haven't got it straightened in, like, so long. Shout out to my hairstylist. Follow her on Instagram. But, um, I feel like I've been through so much in life. And there's so many reasons why I should not be here right now. But I'm here. Like, I'm alive. I'm breathing. I'm inhaling oxygen and breathing out carbon dioxide. Like, I, I mean... I'm just really thankful. Basically, this post is just, I don't know what I'm going to title this. I'm going to put, like, was homeless slash was depressed slash, no, I'm going to put, I'm going to call it, like, from homelessness and, and depression to, um, to, um, goal-driven, um, um motivated and courageous or something like that i don't know i'm gonna put something but anyways yeah like i really don't have too much to say I'm making this video short sweet and simple um i don't want to have to edit too much i just want this to be just plain cut simple i'm not gonna put too many edits also i'm gonna redo my intro because it's too long to me my intro after is too long i'm just gonna make that simple too simplicity is key um I, again i'm opening four times this week because i have a surprise coming next week i'm remodeling my youtube channel again to better serve you guys to um spread love joy and happiness more and not just let out my own frustrations or, you know, pain or whatever, whatever. But anyways, yeah. Um, so if you haven't... I was pulling up to my house. Okay. Mariah, um, Mariah's friend is sleeping over for a few days because something happened to him or something. But anyway, that's my roommate. But if you haven't yet, I have to go let him in. So I finished the video at a good time. He's probably like, what is he doing? Yeah, I'm going to let him subscribe too. I'm going to tell him to subscribe. <laughs> no, but if you haven't yet, go like, comment. Um, subscribe. How many of y'all put y'all pinky up when y'all drinking? Like, I've been doing that since I was a baby. Okay. But, I'm gonna see y'all on the next video. Um, today is Wednesday, third. So, I'll probably upload today, tomorrow. I'll like, I'm gonna make the videos, maybe not at the same time, but I'm gonna upload like sequentially. But yeah, before the week is out, y'all gonna have four new videos, and I'm gonna do um two new ones on sunday and then my schedule reverts back to 
once every two weeks because y'all i got so much going on but i love y'all and i want to produce a lot of videos because i'm going to be pledging and going through different organizations and i don't know if i will be able to use different i mean social media in the fall like some at different times so i just want to produce a lot of com content this summer and but i can be active on my instagram i think a little bit i'm not sure i'm gonna check and see but i'm gonna produce a lot of content for y'all i love y'all so much and let me know what you think of this video have you ever been homeless or went through something like that and if you were ever bullied or depressed how comment how you dealt with that i love y'all I got distracted. Stay true, stay uniquely you, and be original. Peace out, A-Town.